Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we did some of the, uh, what was asked of us by a little, little plinth up here. We had to go to certain locations to do certain things to make shrines appear, and then we got Gerudo emblems for doing that. Now, what the game is asking me to do now, bearing in mind we went for the Yiga clan and we got a uh, an orb and we threw it down there and these people are really angry at me for doing that which is you know good for them They can work that out in their own time. I would quite like to take a little we're supposed to be going here clearly I'd like to go here first because Cass said some interesting things about certain people You gotta listen to the comments section and I'm pretty sure there were a few comments which said that I should listen to The people who Cass told me to listen to I have to be a woman for the first time in a little while uh Forget which one, that, this one. I could be a woman, it's fine. Very used to it by now. But he said, Riju and Buliara were inter- it, it was mentioned in the song for the Champion's Ballad, which is of course what we're doing as DLC. So, if we can find them and they say something interesting, a little more than just, hey, you know, well done for defeating the Calamity or whatever, here's my congratulations or something. I'd like some backstory or some some kind of text or anything. You people over here, let me know what's up. How we doing, everybody? Sava Sava, uh, what's wrong? Are you still worried about the safety of this town? Doesn't seem encouraging. Or have you grown so comfortable here that you can't imagine leaving? Whatever the case may be, you're, you're needed elsewhere. You must eventually leave. You know this. That being said, uh, when it's all over, if you were dro drop back by there, I think we'd all be pleased to see you. Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you need something? Ah, uh, that might be useful, I don't know. You wish to speak of Lady Obosa? Hmm, that, what an interesting request. After Noboros was tamed, we located Lady Obosa's diary. Since you're here, I shall tell you something from it. Lady Obosa had a beloved friend whom she thought the world of, the Queen of Hyrule. Such a big heart, our Lady Obosa was admirable in every aspect of her life. I'd like to read this diary. Lady Obosa's diary is in my room. Since she trusted you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you reading it. That's a different thing. That's a, that's a, you know, trust and would you like to read my diary? Uh, a lot has happened, but we are truly inde indebted to you. Uh, the Champion's Arms are treasures of the Gerudo, much like the Thunderhelm. If anything happens to them, you must let me know immediately. Uh, what do you mean, where's the Chief? The Chief is there. I think my arms are okay, so I don't think Buliara is really going to help me. But I guess I can go look at the diary. Like, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to tell me, but if it tells me something... Is this new for the DLC? I have to ask that one as well, because it's up here somewhere. Anyone see a diary? Is this a diary? Uh, that's, that's Riju. Don't actually care about that at the moment. Maybe there's something interesting in there. Kind of don't. Not too fast. Looking for another diary. Kind of fighting, fighting bedposts. It's not good. Anybody see a book? I don't see a book. Is it, why, why did I think it'd be up here? Was there any reason why it'd be up here? This diary. This is a different diary. Here we go, Obosa's, Obosa's diary. My dear friend from afar came to visit Gerudo Town today. It was always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as urgent. She wished wish for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet da daughter's name is Zelda. She has a mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her already. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified and beautiful queen, just like her mother. Uh, my, th my friend thanked me, but said that looks are fleeting, and instead she wishes the Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. Well, that didn't work out. The way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird as she calls her, I have never seen such un unconditional love. The shame it went wrong so quickly. It has been so, it's been a long while since we laid my dear friend the Queen to rest. I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden, I still can't believe she is gone. Have they explained how she died? It was just like a sudden death? I'm not going to explain, but all of my sweet memories of her keep running through my mind. Even now, I can hardly keep the tears at bay. Young Zelda kept her head held high, that's hard to say, held head held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at, her f at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she is hiding within. I worry for her. Backstories, baby. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, it was my concern for her that brought me here, brought me there. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring for her training. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. Is that technically training? I don't know. I told her many times to stop, but she wouldn't listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Zelda, ga Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Jesus. Uh, eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels in not being able to feel fulfill her sacred duty. She whispered over and over, Why can I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I could do was hold her close and listen. I pray that this is enough. 
The diaries were long before, I, I get that. Uh, emissaries from Hyrule came to see me today. They informed me, informed me that I have been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. My people are uneasy about it. They tell me of a dangerous task is tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting of the chief. I understand their fear. However, I intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Hyrule, but the whole world I refuse to sit idly by. Ganon is also closely associated with the Gerudo, an association I deeply resent. So... Hang on. If he's associated with the Gerudo, and this is Gerudo Town, you're technically not Gerudos. Or the fact- hang on, no. The, the association- association not being the Gerudos, the association being the fact that Ganon is associated with the- Okay, I'm there. I, I thought she didn't like the Gerudos for a second, that was confusing. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I'm excited to see her, as always. Oh, a lot of text. I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions whom I share a fate with. Zelda, Ravali, Mifa, and Link are so young. They are Hyrule's future. Daruk and I hope to... Uh, 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 yeah, Daruk and I hope to help them see that future. However, one thing did trouble me. Zelda was uncharacteristically cold towards Link. I can imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned as Zelda's guardian knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Would be, would be nice. Zelda requested to- Link! Link talked! Link requested to meet with me today. He tells me that Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. I told him of a trick that would allow him entrance, and he was able to get in. But by then, however, Zelda was long gone. I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly re returned home. In a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Perhaps the two can help each other, that is, if she ever gives him a chance. Lots of pages! Today I accompanied Zelda as she went to research Naboris, when in the sunset, that poor exhausted girl drifted to sleep. I sent word to Link, who showed up at Naboris faster than I expected. Although it is none of my business, I felt the least I could do to bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to him. It's a very long diary! I am so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more often lately. It seems she and Link have finally learned to get along. I hope this will have a positive effect on her training. However, I am concerned we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear of monster attacks or other unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I can do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has enough time. I do not pray to the goddesses, but to her mother, my dearest friend. How I miss her. God, it's a very long diary. Very interesting to hear. I'm not sure if that is DLC exclusive. The more I was reading, I was thinking, this seems like the kind of information that the game would be perfectly okay with divulging as part of the regular gameplay, or maybe they felt that the backstories in Hyrule Castle that gave, you know, backstories on uh, Zelda and the King, I think. You know, you can have them for N Naboris and basically all the champions, I guess. Maybe that is what I'm supposed to be doing. I go talk to the, the chiefs of these tribes, not even the chiefs, they're not all chiefs, but go, go talk to the important people in those different tribes and they will lead me to the diary and I learn more about that. I'm not sure. Let me know if there's more to talk to the people about, because I'm not entirely sure. Everything is blind. I'm not at all certain what we're going to be doing with Varnoboris. Maybe fighting the boss again, but why would we be doing that again? It seems kind of like a waste of time in a way. I'm sure we're going to have some monk talk to us very soon, because otherwise, uh, how are we going to get on Naboris? A little confusing. Oh, it's very threatening. I mean, if we had Rivali scale, which is what we have, we could just fly up there. Don't need to do anything else. Don't think so. Cutscenes, or what's going on? To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Are we going to fight the boss with the obliterator? I like that. In exchange for Naboris' Isle of Emblems, you'll be granted the chance to tread through the realms, realm of memories. Oh, you took him away, son of a bitch. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Genuinely interested. What's it going to do? I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Oh, God. I'm not dressed appropriately, I can tell. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is- Oh, God. Tripping out now. This isn't encouraging. Um, I'd imagine some kind of... I mean, the obliterator as a boss fight doesn't really work because you'd hit it once and it would die and you'd just, you know, zerg rush it until you kill it in one shot or something. So that might, that might not be a good idea. Interesting to see what the game is going to offer as a rebuttal when the loading screen is done. A lot of suspense. What are you going to do to me? Oh, God. We're inside and it's all grainy. This isn't, uh, isn't as encouraging as it's thought. But we do have, like, Orbosa's sword and shield and equipment. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memory. So we wore this while we were here one time. That sounds cool. I like that. The enemies you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. It's exciting. 
What's gonna- The battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I see. Oh, it's a stipulation. Are we fighting, uh, Thunderblight? We might be fighting, fighting Thunderblight. Which is great, because A, it's the first one we fought, and B, it's the hardest one we fought, so... Uh, we might have problems early on, but we do have health, unless you've taken that away as well. Thunderblight Ganon, at least I know, I know how to, at least I know how to kill him now. It's encouraging. I need to, oh, we got, we got loads of health, that's okay. And we got all the blessings in the world, so that's good. And we do, you know, our sword's pretty good, it is just, I mean, it's pretty decent. Shield of the Mind's Eye. What swords we got? Edge of Duality. I've got to check this. This is cool. And we got this random shit. So we're doing okay. We have got Mephus Grace as like a uh, a method of. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, I was gonna stasis him, which we didn't have. We didn't have a stasis plus when we fought him originally. But I can do this shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm hitting you. Yes, I am hitting you. Got to find where you are. Can't see the camera's not very helpful. But yeah, that kind of helps. <laughs> not entirely sure. It's a little close for comfort. Uh, stasis. St no stasis. And then slash him a bunch of times. Flick damage. Make him make him wish he was never born. This this fight does become a lot easier when you have Daruk's protection because it solves a lot of problems. The fact you might actually take a lot of damage from him doing this, not much of a problem. You could do like some crazy uh I'm trying to what's the word? You could do an, a, a ridiculous flurry rush. I'd like to try that. I'm not how not sure how easy it's gonna be though. Like, duh! I can't even can't even like process where he is at that point in time, but I'm not too worried about using up the durability of my weapon either, because, frankly, who gives a fl flying fuck? Kind of a little concern about the uh, the filter. It does look completely different on my recording. Maybe it's just how my uh, uh, where is he? Maybe it's just how my uh, uh, TV is interpreting this footage. But it does seem grainy, and that's okay. I can I can get behind that. Send it over there. Don't want it. How far can I? Over there. Don't want it. It's all yours. It's all yours, baby. Doesn't really work. Okay. Gotta be closer to him. I remember this pop, pop point in the fight. I remember not really liking it that much. Brings up back memories when I played this game originally. And hey, it's kind of hard now. Game is not pulling punches. Just I need to. I'll just caress you, slow gradually and sensually with whatever the fuck that is. These breadsticks. Motherfucking breadsticks. Grab it quickly. Got it. Have good aim for a change. There we go. Where's he gone? Did he disappear? Hello. Such a long time since I fought him. Can't remember how to. I can't remember how to fight him. Where is he? I don't even know. Oh god. I don't even know. Terrifying. Okay. You do what you want. Oh, just. Did you just shield bash me? Has that always been the case? It's amazing. I love it. You do it. You, okay. You do that. But now I have. I have no. I have no weapon. It's on the floor. Uh, or my shield is on the floor. Okay, now my weapon's on the floor. Okay, this hasn't gone quite as well as I would have liked, but also the fact that I can't really see anything because it's so grainy. I think my weapon's down here. I don't know. Jumping off might have been a bad idea. Boss was never that easy. It's, I don't think it's got a much ease. Was that it? Oh, I can't see because there's a giant boss. In there it is. That is what it was. I ran past it, but I can't see because there's a giant fucking boss in my way. Not cool. Not cool. You, you stay there. I'll do some of this. And you still hurt me. Okay. Electricity? Not cool. Not cool. Not cool! There's so little I can do. I need a- this is like wooden, isn't it? Can I have something which isn't like a metal thing? Even though I might die very shortly. Okay. This is not quite going as I thought it would food. Let's actually- that's a good idea. So, you know, you do what you want. I'm gonna pick up some things while you're doing that. Give me my scimitar of the seven. And my wooden shield. Maybe that's the point. I forget if that's the point, but that might be the point. Like, oh no, you can hit me with that. You do that, and then I'll do one of the- Oh my god, you're an arsehole. You're an arsehole. You're the worst kind of arsehole, okay. I forgot how fucking arsehole this guy is. My god. I thought the game got easier. Well, not got easier, but the game did get easier. Oh god. It's so- It's so relentless, I've forgotten everything. Uh, it does- I gotta cook it, but I can't cook it. I'm gonna die, but I, I think I'll- I'll take- I, I, get, I can't take the L, can I? Because, or I can, but I won't at the moment because I've got Mephus Grace. So I might as well just do what I can. And just sort of hope that I can do it. Mephus Grace does, like, cover up a world of problems. Which is good. Get him again. Oh, it's got a charge. I forgot the charge. Dropping weapons left, right, and center. You come at me. You fucking come at me. I have not got a shield on. Let's not... Don't come at me quite yet. This shield is not quite as good in this fight as I thought it might be. Oh, yes. Actually, you know what? It might be. 
I need a target. Why can I target you? I'd like to do that. You just hit the- you hit that. I'd like to target you. I'd like to actually d deflect the thing you had. But anyway, I got my health back, which is quite nice. Quite kind. Very kind, actually. Uh, this fight is hard. Well, maybe if he has, doesn't have any uh, electrical powers on his weapon, then he's kind of easier. How did I do this before? I don't know. I feel like I had, like, uh, electrical resistance at some point, which, you know, might explain that. But there you go! It's kind of very hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure there's, like, a way of doing it, because people have done three heart runs of this game, so... Or, like, an attempt... But actually, you can do a three heart run of this game, because you get as many heart containers for the Master Sword, and then you just give them away for money or something. So, you can do a three heart run, you can fight this guy with three hearts, you can win! I'm not sure how, but there is a way. Like, damage reductions, and electrical reductions, and, you know, Mitha's Grace just solving problems over here. So, that's good. Is this one part of the DLC down? I don't know. What else is to come? That felt a little bit like a retreading. It was literally a retreading of an earlier part of the game. So, is there an extra feature to it? Or if we come back from our memories? I don't know. One of the- one of the same cast is here! You were never here before, my friend. You okay? Seems a bit weird. Oh, my my. Uh, for some reason, for some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom you get lost in thought with the only- is the freedom to get lost in thought with only the wind to distract you. Ah, wandering ar around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Obosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it was inspired me to honor- it, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I inclined to roost here, near the divine Miss Vanoboros, which Obosa herself mastered. Oh dear. Very French. I have written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Obosa. Recall Noboros' Champion of Sand. Oh, need to burp. Bad time to burp. Before she was lost to the land. <clears throat> I'm not sure how you made get that fit the syllables. Chief Obosa's hut was strong. I'm trying to spoken word. So the princess came along. I mean, it's not the best lyric so far. It's not bad. Oh, we're getting flashbacks. That's good. How does he make it happen? That's incredible. Is Link in this cutscene at all? Is this the first one without Link? Many questions. Should probably shouldn't be talking. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. Son of bitches. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. Well, both has got such a strong voice. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me little bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. I know, pick me. Huh? I read the law. Halt and face me. Oh shit. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Oh shit. Do your worst. It would have been so funny if they were random people. <laughs> Shit, son! Love that power. Out of respect for our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. I know. Huh? When you were but a small child? My dear friend called you that, with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? 
It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Hey, I tell you what, very good timing on actually finding that diary before doing anything else this episode. Like, damn! Listen to Cass, man. Hmm, though she was a fist warrior, the Gerudo chief was always a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. Uh, so, what do you think of Champion Zobosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of Champion Obosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Mm. I was struck by a realization that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by my pupil's teacher's pupil, by me. So, did- I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Oh fucking hell, what? That's dangerous. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> oh no, you've upgraded Obosa's fury. Why? Why? That's pretty incredible. Uh, it requires less time to charge. So we can't use more of them, but we can use it more often. So I, I quite like that. Um... Interesting kind of frames the deal. See, I don't even mind that she interrupted me because that's some awesome shit. That's some that's some very useful thing to pick up. Is this not a Korok seat? It could have been. I just had to check. So, like the timing, the timing required to maybe that's the best way of doing it. The timing required to go to these locations or to go to the the town and talk to the right people to get to the diary and then do this and then find out about the things that the diary mentioned. That's pretty incredible. So I don't really know where we're supposed to be going next. We're not gonna lie, um, because it was supposed to show it, but it's not showing it anymore. So we, do we go back somewhere? Do we go back to this? I might have to go back to that, but I think there's an easy enough way. I've lost track of everything now. Also, I may have found a Korok puzzle among many, but you know, not really too concerned about them. It just goes in the middle somewhere, or goes on the edge somewhere. Gotta find a place where there isn't a rock. Uh, are there many places where there isn't a rock? I don't know. Korok puzzles are kind of fun, aren't they? Could put it in the middle. Put it in the middle for now. I mean, it seem bigger than any, any other rock here, so I'm inclined to think that maybe, maybe just extend them out a bit more, make them reach the edge. I'm not entirely sure what the pattern is here, or what pattern I need to continue here is. There should be holes. Is that a hole? That's not even a hole. That's that's barely big enough for anything. Seems a bit weird. Um. Probably shouldn't concern myself so much with Korok seeds. But hey, if doing these little areas of the DLC gives us certain things, then I am very excited to go to the next one because, like, that will give us Rivali's Gale, the ability to use this thing more often. And that sounds unbelievably overpowered, like, genuinely, absurdly strong. So, is there anything I can do over here? Like, I've done the things you wanted. I need to know where to go next. And currently, I don't really know where to go next. But technically, uh, press right buttons, press the adventure log. We have done this. So, all we- this one? Uh, go to the areas marked on the map. Does it tell me where the- oh, now they do! Oh, I just had to make them- can I not- could- they, they weren't here before, were they? I don't think they were. But this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the Champion's Ballad DLC. In the next episode, we're gonna go to a different area, likely, uh, the area with, uh, the- the- Rito and Rivali and that sort of shit because that's kind of the order we did the original Let's Play in and we're gonna do more of this DLC find more shrines go to the Divine Beast and make things happen watch cutscenes all that groovy shit Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care